My name is Mark Hudon. I'm uh, 59 years old. I first climbed here in 1974 when I was 18. Um, I moved out west after that and I've been out west climbing here. Uh, lately in 2009 I started getting back into big wall climbing and I climbed the nose in a day and the next year I soloed El Cap and since then I've been doing two and three El Cap walls a year and pretty much these days I'm a fixture here. I, uh, I just love climbing El Cap and so in all its different forms and variations. I mean I've, I've got my the hauling uh, video out there so I mean every single season I'm down here somebody will come up to me and say hey are these good pulleys or 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 we did the route you know some guy just donated to my to my tips page because he they had gone up on uh, lurking fear and they had done it because a couple of my tips really saved them a bunch of hours mm -hmm. uh, separating the being able to separate the haul bags and and the hauling system you know and they just said hey man we talked about you a lot and we really want to thank you for doing you know helping us do that route which you know that's like you said we're not curing cancer we're right. all out here trying to have fun right. and trying to climb el cap you know so to me you know the the scene i don't know all you gotta do is be friendly you know, that's all it is to it. I mean, everyone over there is friendly. No one's no one's a badass. No one. Everyone's failed on El Cap. Um, everyone has their glory moments, but everyone definitely, you know, every, I've done the stick of the day enough times, and I've done the walk of shame enough times, and you know, that's the way it is. That's sort of like life. Yeah. That's how it works. Yeah. The hardest part is getting all that crap to the base, getting it off the ground, getting things organized. By the time you're into day two, uh, you've spent some time with your partner, you've streamlined a little bit of things, and now you're on the route. So now all you have to do is just go climb. So you wake up in the morning, make coffee, have breakfast, look at the topo, get the rack together, and there isn't anything hard about day two. Day two is probably the most beautiful day of the whole thing. Me, I would be having my own coffee that I roast at Hood River Coffee Roasters. <laughs> Um, it's that's one of the things that got me back into climbing was now that we had comfortable sleeping bags, portal ledges, we had stoves that you could haul up there. We could now have good warm food, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Uh, now we could brew coffee. So I've always had I've always had coffee for myself. I was always buffed out my partners with coffee. Um, there was a time recently where I was searching around through my bags and I, and I thought that I had actually forgotten the coffee and I really didn't know what I was going to do. Uh, but I didn't. I had coffee in there. So, yeah, coffee to me is a big, important part of the whole thing. I'm really, really selfish when I climb El Cap. Uh, there's, only, there's only so many El Cap routes in my life. Uh, and if you're... I've climbed El Cap with three people. It tends to be a little bit clustery, but I don't like it because I end up giving away a third of the climb. I don't lead those pitches. I just clean them. I don't see them. I, you know, it's not. It's just sort of not part of the climb for me. Uh, no doubt, as I get older, maybe I'll want to do party walls. You know, with three people and just have a great old time up there. Um, I'm getting to the point now that I might start repeating some of the routes that I've done in the distant past. Uh, but those will be party walls. Those won't be my, my serious walls. Uh, things like, like Tempest and Reticent, uh, the big aid walls. I go with a buddy that I'm just really in tune with and we're just really working together there as a team to get up the thing so he leads a pitch I encourage him I clean the pitch I lead a pitch he encourages me so we're, we're really the team on it when I first came back my third career here in Yosemite uh, I wanted to do the nose in a day and as an example of how selfish I am about climbing El Cap I decided I wanted to lead the whole nose in a day I wanted to lead every single pitch so I did that, and then my second El Cap route uh, that 
that spring, 2010, I soloed El Cap. So again, I let every single pitch on the route. Uh, so really, it, there's only so many El Cap pitches in your life, and I want them all. I want to lead them all, I want to clean them all, I want to be there on all of them.